Good morning, guys. Welcome back or to the channel. In today's video, we are, uh, I just finished yesterday's video. So, what we're gonna video on today is my Gen Y hitch on the white truck here. So, figured I'd go ahead and make this video since it is nice. Don't have a lot going on today. So, figured I'd make a couple videos. Uh, but, anyway, let's take a look. I ordered this hitch. Um, this hitch was sponsored uh, by Gen Y. They sponsored this particular build. So this was a sponsored product, but they're not made. They're not paying me to make this video or anything like that. Um, I haven't contacted them since this. So this is this is all me. So I ordered this hitch probably a little over a year and a half ago um, and it's been on this truck ever since now we'll get down here let's take a look so this is a 10 inch 10,000 pound drop hitch you can see here 10 inch 10,000 pound so and I also have the serrated hitch step uh, paired up with bolt locks. So I just finished that video on both of these as well as some other bolt locks products that I have. And it did come with two pins. I have this one and I have one in the six liter over there. Um, but these pins are actually really nice. So all you gotta do for these twist them and pull at the same time um, very neat so same thing put them back in just pop them on there and they're good to go I like the uh, I don't know the head of it I guess um, pretty nice but anyways so this hitch um, very nice powder coating on the outside holding up very well all, whoa, hold on. all the way around if y'all can see I have scraped it a couple times back when I had the stock wheels and tires hadn't had that problem with these 37's but I did scrape the bottom down here so it's ground out kind of resting but I do plan to get this hitch re-powder coated um, eventually when I get the suspension and everything done. So this, both of these are gonna get repowder coated, but kind of the only thing I've been disappointed about with this hitch is inside each of the little, I guess, chambers or whatever are starting to rust. Now, I know this is a wear point right here. Um, especially on the bottoms because you're going down the road this is rubbing it's bouncing up and down side to side whatnot um, and they do actually provide set screws for these that you can thread in over here on the sides you can see and even they're kind of starting to rust the rust here and there it's just surface rust, but still kind of disappointing. But they do provide you with little set screws to keep these from rattling. But I didn't install those um, for the sole sake of if we're hooking up to the trailer or whatever with this truck, which we don't very much anymore, especially since I got the six liter. Um, I wanted it to be pop a pin out put your hitch in here or move it or just whatever and you don't have to worry about the little set screws so with that being said again it's kind of disappointing the rust all the way down rust in here I can see rust there but stuff like in the letters that kind of thing it's kind of kind of disappointing but Anyways, the hitch step here, it is fantastic. So, 
So, with this truck here, um, camera's about eye level. So y'all can get a kind of a height comparison. And it is a little higher up in the front because I do have the leveling kit as well. So you can kind of see it up in there. So this is about eye level up here on the front, but in the rear, uh, anyway, it does make it nice to have a little step, it's adjustable. Um, the powder coating on it, it's kind of slip resistant in a way. And then the serrated edges just makes it nice for step up here. Grab something out of the bed or whatever, or step up in the back of the truck to do, again, just about whatever. I have large feet and I can comfortably stand on this with both feet with no issues. Like, so, well, it makes it nice, but <laughs> this bed floor looks terrible. But anyways, we're gonna address this issue. Get some new bed bolts and whatnot. But anyway, that does make it nice. So if anybody is looking into getting one of these, um, again, I've had this for almost two years, be two years kind of at the end of the summer. I'm pretty happy with it. Again, you know, there's the rust, a little surface rust issue. I think the coating could be a little thicker, but it is what it is, you know. Um, very stout, very heavy duty, very well built. Um, you can just see pretty solid hitch. I wouldn't be scared to throw this on the six over there um, for towing just whatever. Now, would I use Gen Y hitch again? Absolutely. I was actually looking at one of their gooseneck hitches for this trailer. Um, so, absolutely, absolutely recommended. I'm just kind of know that will probably start to surface rust. Just one of them things. Um, now again, that hitch is gonna get powder coated. I'll actually show you all the color. If y'all haven't noticed, the blue pearl here. Um, all of my accents are going to be blue. Um, and I've actually, yeah, sorry the truck's filthy right now. It just kind of sits here, but all of the accents on this truck, if y'all are new here, are going to be, it's filthy, but all the accents are going to be illusion blueberry um so all of the suspension i'm gonna try to do like a two-tone suspension but the majority will be illusion blueberry um i've looked at illusion blueberry wheels and all of that kind of thing but i think it would match that blue pearl very nicely but anyways guys just thought I would make this quick video here uh, for anybody who's looking to purchase one of these hitches. I absolutely recommend them. Love the hitch. You know, it's, it's very nice. Um, and I like how it's a solid hitch. And one thing I've looked at before, um, especially with building, finishing up that trailer, getting it all finished up the way I want it. Um, he's putting like a detachable winch on it with the, um, like a two inch receiver. And if so, this is another thing that's very nice with the Gen Y hitches is say I'm pulling a bumper pull, not this trailer and have a car, does it run, whatever you could put your, say your hitches down here one of these two you can actually put your winch in one of these 
so you're not just stuck to one attachment like say a bulletproof hitch so makes it nice um, you can kind of mix and match I've had it before on this truck I have a trailer with our little trailer I don't know if y'all can see it I have the trailer down here hitch up or the step up here you can just kind of customize it to your needs so I'll probably honestly end up ordering one for my six liter uh, put one on the back of it and then again do one of the trailer steps or gooseneck masts so with that being said guys this is probably going to end up the video here kind of a short video but there's not really much that can go wrong with a hitch but absolutely love it i've told with it a couple times does fine does fantastic um it's rated for more than i would ever put on that truck especially now that i have this so with that being said guys i'm gonna end up the video here so if you enjoyed this video or found it helpful please drop a like and comment down below smash that subscribe button thanks for watching guys hope everybody has a wonderful day